information on the French Bulldog breed, including facts, traits, pictures, and more. Before bringing a French Bulldog into your home, are you interested in learning more about this breed? Read about the Frenchie's history, energy level, and grooming needs to see if they could be your next canine companion. French Bulldogs, also known as Frenchies, are adorable little joys. They are affectionate family dogs who enjoy interacting with both children and adults. Many dog owners, from devoted dog owners with large yards to apartment dwellers, are huge fans of this adorable canine friend. Frenchies, which are the offspring of miniature bulldogs, are lovable and make good additions to small families. They need short daily walks and are compact, comfortable, and have constrained living spaces. Although many of them have an independent, stubborn streak, they do have a tendency to be difficult to keep healthy. There are many topics to cover when it comes to the French Bulldog, such as their history, health problems, typical size, and even their demeanor around families. To learn more about this well-known breed and determine whether they are a good fit for you, continue reading below. Breed Background The history of the French Bulldog is lengthy and interesting. The American Kennel Club claims that the breed's ancestors first appeared in mid-1800s Nottingham as a smaller version of the Bulldog. The original Bulldogs were bred for bull baiting and other blood sports, but another strain was developed that was lighter and smaller than the original Bulldogs and had the vivacious energy of Terriers. The Nottingham lacemakers were most closely associated with these toy Bulldogs. In England, the Industrial Revolution was at its height at this time, and the emergence of machinery was gradually driving out small industries that relied on handicrafts. The lacemakers fled to the French countryside in the north to get away from it, taking their trade and their dogs with them. As time went on, the toy bulldogs were bred with other dogs, giving them their distinctive muzzles and bad ears. The dogs were well liked in the countryside. They were referred to as French Bulldogs, or Bulldog Francais, at this point. The Bulldog Francais quickly established itself as a mainstay of Parisian high life after word of these little dogs spread to the city's chic cafes and parties. In actuality, one by Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec was titled Boubou. Madame Palmire, the owner of the Café La Suris, was the dog's owner. To the dismay of some others who wanted to keep the bulldog strictly an English breed, the bulldog breeders back in England began exporting similar dogs to France after learning of the booming popularity of their toy bulldogs. Breed Identification In the 1940s, the AKC approved the French Bulldog. The first French Bulldog Club, according to the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, FCI, was established in 1880. In 1898, the year the French Kennel Club recognized the breed, the first breed standards were also created. They began to make an appearance in dog exhibitions and shows as early as 1887. According to the French Bulldog Club of America, the breed's ears were one of the most contentious issues because American breeders insisted that dogs that adhered to the breed standard had bad ears. The Americans declined to take part in a Westminster show in 1898 because the event featured dogs with rose-eared ears. The American dog owners pulled their dogs, and the American judge abstained from the proceedings. At the Waldorf Astoria, they hosted their own performance. The popularity of purebred dogs decreased during the World Wars and the Great Depression, and the French Bulldog was no exception. Only 100 dogs had been registered with the American Kennel Club by the 1940s. Thankfully, interest returned in the 1980s, with wave after wave of new registration. Since more and more breeders are taking steps to better care for Frenchies, the breed continues to be featured in popular media today. Temperament Frenchies are playful dogs who enjoy doing their owner's bidding. Frenchies are sociable people pleasers who thrive in a family environment. They are gregarious, animated, and constantly ready to make their owners laugh. They are very simple to train because they love to please other people. This, however, conflicts with their propensity for autonomous action and thought. To remind a Frenchie who is in charge, use firm guidance. It won't help to yell at them because Frenchies are very sensitive to human voices and loud screaming could make them fear their family. Frenchies tend to be family dogs, but they can become overly protective of their owners and turn away outsiders. To reduce this issue, 
proper socialization is crucial. The Frenchie needs puppy training classes to learn the difference between appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Although they might appear to be a little resistant, enough encouragement and inspiration will persuade them. Frenchies typically do not make good watchdogs because they do not bark frequently. Additionally, their barks lack a lot of power. According to one's visitor circle, a Frenchie owner may want to pay special attention to socializing their dogs with strangers because they can be vocal if an outsider approaches. Dimension and Appearance French Bulldogs can range in size, but they typically weigh no more than 30 pounds. At the shoulders, French Bulldogs stand between 11 and 12 inches tall. According to the AKC standard, they typically won't weigh more than 28 pounds. They have low centers of gravity due to their short, stocky bodies and wide-spaced legs. Although different dog breeding associations disagree on the precise range, they are typically expected to live between 8 and 13 years. Frenchies are compact, muscular dogs with firm muscles and cylindrical, barrel-shaped chests. The most meticulous breeders insist that dogs adhering to the breed standard have no extra skin or wrinkles, with the exception of their faces. After years of fighting among breeders over Frenchies' ears, battered dogs are now the norm. The face of the breed is among its most distinctive characteristics. French Bulldogs have short muzzles and snub noses, which are characteristics shared by American Bulldogs and Pugs. The lips are loose and black, and the jowls on the muzzle are prominent. The teeth and tongue should be completely hidden by their lips. While cream or fawn-colored dogs typically have lighter noses, most have black noses. They have a roachback feature, a small hump above their humps. As a result, the forelegs are a little shorter than the hind legs. Finally, the tails of this breed are short, low, and taper at the tip. Colors and coat. Fawn and brindle are just two of the many colors that Frenchies can have. French bulldogs lack an undercoat and have short, glossy coats. They're soft, typically simple to groom coats. Although they can be any combination of a number of colors, breeding associations typically favor white, cream, fawn, or black. The following list of markings are available in the breed. Brindle. This is a term for a skewed coloring pattern that is occasionally referred to as tiger striped. The fur of brindle striped coats has color streaks running through it. In comparison to true tiger stripes, brindle markings are much thinner, more erratic, and less opaque. Black and fawn hairs make up the brindle in this breed. Piebald refers to a coat with some patches of colored fur and some patches of white fur. The colored patches on French Bulldogs typically appear around the eyes, under the neck, and on the back. Black Mask. This coloring features a fawn or cream dog with black fur around the muzzle and occasionally around the eyes, as the name suggests. Ticking. This pattern resembles brindle stripes in that there are numerous tiny dots and flecks of one color on another. Ticking is generally accepted by the American Kennel Club, but it is not thought to be particularly desirable in this breed. Various colors. Some breeders claim that certain dogs do come in other rare or fad colors, such as black, blue, pure white, and merle, and these hues do exist in some breeds. However, a number of breeding organizations disqualify such uncommon colors because they believe they are not part of the breed. For instance, the deaf gene is carried by the pure white gene. Breeders of Frenchies are well aware of this, and the majority of those who offer the fad colors typically do so for financial gain. Keeping this in mind, only purchase from ethical breeders, or even better, consider adoption. Exercise and Environment Frenchies require 15 to 30 minutes of exercise each day. Frenchies don't require much space and can thrive almost anywhere where they can have regular contact with their owners, which is good news for many city dwellers. It is important to remember that Frenchies struggle in hot and muggy conditions due to their restricted breathing. They must be kept indoors, preferably in an environment with air conditioning, and cannot be left in a kennel outside. They need to be kept busy inside, preferably with Frenchie-sized dog toys. The French Bulldog Club of England claims that although Frenchies can manage brief 15-minute walks, they are not used to taking long walks. For Frenchies, these brief, leisurely strolls are sufficient to prevent obesity. 
however, they prefer to play, so a visit to the neighborhood park might be in order. The Frenchie must not be taken outside in hot or humid weather. Given their physical makeup, Frenchies are unable to swim and should never be left alone near water. French Bulldogs enjoy being active. Fortunately, if they don't get enough playtime, they won't destroy the house or rip apart beds and couches. However, if they are isolated from their family for an extended period of time, they will begin to feel anxious and uneasy. Owners of Frenchies who live in apartments might do well, but not if they frequently travel for work for weeks at a time. Frenchies also frequently drool and pass gas, so they might not get along with people who have a strong gag reflex. Training Frenchies are independent and have a reputation for being stubborn. French Bulldogs are notoriously difficult to train. They may be small, but they have a lot of strength and power in their tiny little frames. You must therefore begin training your French Bulldog at a young age. Make sure your dog can walk properly on a leash or while wearing a harness made for Frenchies. The importance of early socialization and obedience training cannot be overstated. You should look for a medium-sized dog crate that enables you to train your puppy while you are away if you intend to crate train. Keep in mind that Frenchies are known for having separation anxiety so you can decide whether to buy a safe dog crate that eases anxiety. Health There are some common health issues that French Bulldogs may inherit. The number of health issues that Frenchies experience is disproportionately higher than other breeds with upturned noses. The most notable ones have to do with their breathing. Breathing may be challenging for them due to compressed nasal passages, which is exacerbated in hot weather. We advise researching pet insurance for your French Bulldog because of their numerous health issues. French Bulldogs are also poor flyers because they may be more severely affected by the decompression of high flight. For this reason, the breed is prohibited from flying by a number of airlines. A Frenchie must be given extra care and attention to ensure that it can survive a flight if there is no other option. Only a few of the health tests recommended by the French Bulldog Club of America to be performed before buying a puppy will be covered in detail. Hip Dysplasia Examinations An eye exam by a board-certified ACVO. Testing for juvenile cataracts, autoimmunity thyroiditis, patella luxation, and congenital cardiac database. Dysplastic hips. Frenchie's stocky bodies make them susceptible to hip dysplasia. Dogs with hip dysplasia have a ball and socket joint connecting their hip and thigh bones, with the thigh bone acting as the ball and the hip bone as the socket. The ball should securely fit inside the socket. This ball and socket joint can move in many different directions during normal growth. Hip dysplasia can cause the thigh to become simply displaced or the hip socket to become too shallow as a result of abnormal tissue growth. A Frenchie may have hip dysplasia if their pelvises sway while walking or if their legs are crossed or splayed sideways while sitting. Hip dysplasia can be identified through a dog's gait. Vet visits, specific exercise, painkillers, and a special diet can all help with this condition. Torn ACL the cranial cruciate ligament, one of several ligaments in the canine hind leg that connects the thigh to the shin, is afflicted by an ACL tear. Given their body composition and weight distribution, Frenchies are particularly impacted by this. When an ACL is torn in a dog, the affected limb may become suddenly painful and the dog may lose the ability to bear weight on it. Although they might eventually be able to use their leg again, it might still hurt. ACL tears are typically treated surgically, but in some cases, rest and physical therapy are all that is needed. Frenchies may also experience other health issues, but it is typically best to address them on an individual basis. Because each dog is unique, they might have needs that differ from the norm. Nutrition French Bulldogs require a dry dog food that is made especially for smaller breed dogs. The American Kennel Club suggests using premium dog food that is age-appropriate for Frenchies. According to Purina, during the first four months of life, French Bulldogs are primarily fed by their mother's milk. Upon veterinary advice, one may want to introduce minced protein, such as beef, after four months. Puppies are typically weaned at eight weeks. 
It is best to wean Frenchies off of milk and onto nutritionally complete dog food. It is acceptable to eat two meals a day, usually in the morning and late in the day. Frenchies are inquisitive and curious about new things. This implies that they might quickly get tired of their dog food and start begging for scraps. They wish to participate in human food consumption. A Frenchie may gain too much weight if they consume cooked bones and high-fat foods because they are unfortunately prone to obesity. Treats work the same way. Given their physical makeup and breathing issues, the breed is more likely than other dogs to develop obesity-related complications. There may be a need for research into what foods are safe for Frenchies and how much food to feed them. Grooming French Bulldogs shed and require weekly brushing. Frenchies don't require a lot of attention from a professional groomer, which is good news for many dog owners. Frenchies, as was previously mentioned, have short fur and no undercoat. Over the course of the year, they also shed, albeit very little at a time. This coat only needs to be brushed once a week with a medium brush or a grooming mitt. The removal of shed fur is ensured by routine brushing. Additionally, it disperses the coat's natural oils, giving it a lovely sheen. Fortunately, French Bulldogs don't typically enjoy getting too muddy outside. But sometimes, it's impossible to avoid picking up some mud and dirt. A Frenchie benefits from regular bathing to stay clean and fresh. Cleaning between their facial folds requires extra care because dirt can build up there all too easily. The wrinkles around a Frenchie's eyes are particularly concerning because they are frequently moist and can support the growth of yeast. For Frenchies with dry or irritated skin, regular dog shampoo is fine, but a sensitive skin shampoo is recommended. To keep them comfortable, it is necessary to frequently trim their nails. A Frenchie's teeth and gums can be kept healthy by brushing them several times per week. Because the fluoride in human toothpaste is harmful to dogs, it is crucial to use toothpaste designed specifically for canines. The monthly cleaning of Frenchie's ears may also be advantageous. Cost of breeders and puppies. The price of puppies will vary greatly depending on the breeder and the color of the coat. Unless you decide to adopt, it is crucial to buy your French Bulldog puppy from a reputable breeder, as with all dog breeds. The French Bulldog Club of England advises that puppies be purchased from parents who have undergone vaccinations and health screenings. Additionally, it's crucial to see the puppies with their parents to confirm the well-being of everyone. French Bulldog puppies can range greatly in cost, but they are generally quite expensive. Many ethical breeders will be able to trace a dog's pedigree back through several generations and will have a wealth of knowledge about the parent dogs. This implies that they will have a wealth of specific knowledge about their ancestry, the health risks that run in the family, and the origins of their dogs. Transparency and a good working relationship with the neighborhood veterinarians are two of the characteristics of responsible breeders listed by the Humane Society of the United States. As previously stated, rare or fad colors come with health risks. Avoid breeders who only offer dogs in trendy colors because they are likely to care very little about the well-being of their canines. A dog should not be purchased from a pet store, a puppy farm or mill, or a puppy broker as most of these establishments treat their dogs horribly. Numerous kennel clubs maintain lists of reputable breeders who can provide puppies in good health. Shelters and Rescues There are probably a lot of family-friendly French bulldogs at nearby animal shelters. One of the best places to find any kind of dog is a shelter. In exchange for very little money, you would provide a home for a dog who would otherwise be alone. Vaccinations, microchipping, and spaying costs are frequently included in adoption fees. Do your homework on each rescue organization to make sure they are accredited and adhere to high standards. A no-kill shelter is always the best option because you can be sure that it prioritizes the welfare of its residents. Responsible shelters will also provide information and lists of supplies required to welcome a new dog home, preparing potential owners for the adventure that comes with owning a new dog. Prior to bringing the Frenchie home, choose the ideal name. Here are a few prominent rescue resources. French Bulldog Village, Snort Rescue, Snafu Rescue, French Bulldog Rescue Network. Senior dogs are also prevalent among dogs from shelters. 
If you are considering purchasing a senior dog, especially a Frenchie, be sure you are aware of the responsibilities involved. Because older Frenchies frequently experience health problems, one must conduct adequate research and planning before adopting an elderly Frenchie. French Bulldogs make good family pets because they get along well with other members. They might develop an excessive need to be with their owner. They occasionally have a negative reaction to friendly people. This breed enjoys playing with kids, but adult supervision is always a good idea. If socialization occurs early on, they are easily socialized. Long walks are not necessary for French Bulldogs. The Frenchie is a breed that fits well in any home, including apartments. <laughs>